let's take a look around the Boardwalk Inn Resort at Walt Disney World. Boardwalk Inn Resort is a deluxe resort at Walt Disney World and it's located in the Epcot Resort area just outside the International Gateway entrance of Epcot. This area includes not only the Boardwalk Inn and its shopping and dining options, but also the Beach Club and Yacht Club resorts as well as the Swan and Dolphin. The theming at the Boardwalk is turn of the century Atlantic City Coney Island and you'll see that in the many details throughout the resort. Though it hasn't been updated or refurbished in a while, there are several much needed changes coming in 2022 and 2023. More about those in a moment. When you arrive at the Boardwalk Inn, you will enter where the lobby and check-in desk are located. You will also find bell services inside here where you can have them hold your luggage or get items that have been delivered. Just off the lobby are the hallways that take you to the rooms, which we will head into a bit later, but let's first take a look at some of the shopping, dining, and other amenities at the resort first. While most resorts will have dining and shopping in the main building, this resort is set up differently in that most of it is outside on the boardwalk. So let's head outside and down the stairs to check it out. There are options both to the right and the left on the boardwalk, but as we head to the right side, we have flying fish, a delicious upscale restaurant that is perfect if you're looking for a special night out. Next to that is Abracadabar, a magician themed lounge. Capacity is pretty small here, so be sure to get in before it gets too busy. There's also Trattoria Al Forno, a casual Italian restaurant, and then a pizza window available where you can order pizza, salads, and drinks to go, but be sure to take advantage of mobile ordering here, especially during busy or peak times. Next to that is the Boardwalk Deli, which used to be called Boardwalk Bakery. It is a quick service with delicious sandwich options. Mobile ordering is also available here. Boardwalk ice cream is next to that. This used to be called Ample Hills. And finally, at the end of this row is a new establishment coming in 2023 called the Cake Bake Shop, which will occupy the space formerly housed by the ESPN Club. Nearby out on the boardwalk, there is a funnel cake cart, Boardwalk Joe's Marvelous Margaritas, and a to-go cart that has things like hot dogs, chicken tenders, and fries. Heading down the other direction along the boardwalk, you will first come to Wyland Galleries, which features artwork by marine life artist Wyland. And then we have a few shops that are all in a row. Screen Door General Store, Disney's Character Carnival, and Thimbles and Threads, where you can find basic supplies and merchandise. Just beyond that, you have another restaurant called Big River Grill and Brewing Works, which has basics like burgers, nachos, as well as an extensive list of beer, wine, and cocktails. And wrapping up this section of the boardwalk is a couple of entertainment options, including Jelly Rolls, which is a 21 and up popular piano bar that has a cover charge to enter, and Atlantic Dance Hall, where you can dance until the wee hours several nights per week. Heading back toward the lobby, you will find a Sideshow Games Arcade, which is located near the main pool, and the Muscles and Bustles Health Club Gym. Located inside is Dundee Sundries, a shop inside the resort that's usually open in the late afternoon and evening, and they sell snacks, clothing items, and spa products themed after the Boardwalk Inn. And finally, the Bellevue Lounge, which is a 1930s sitting room that serves coffee and pastries in the morning and cocktails in the evening. Disney has announced that in the coming years, they will be introducing a charming new lobby design and nearby coffee bar here. So look for that. The layout of the interior of the resort includes rooms that are all connected to the lobby with the Boardwalk Inn being on one end of the resort and Boardwalk Villas on the other. We will just be focusing on the rooms in the Boardwalk Inn part of the resort for now, though both ends share resort amenities. There are three pools located here with the main pool being centrally located and it is called Luna Park Pool. It no longer features the scary clown slide that so many were not fond of. There are also two quiet pools, one on the Boardwalk Villas end of the resort as well as one in the Boardwalk Inn section. While laundry is usually located near a pool, it is located near the third floor elevators here and it is open 24 hours. Dry cleaning service is also available if you need it during your trip. 
Inside the rooms, you will find that they have not been updated in a while, but a refurbishment to them is set to take place over the next few years. There are a few different room options, but most of them either have two queen beds, two queen beds with a day bed, or one king bed with a day bed. Most of the rooms have bathrooms with two sinks separate from the toilet and shower area, as well as a desk and chair in the room. They also have small refrigerators and coffee makers. Storage options include the closet and the storage drawers, though no underbed storage. Many of the rooms here also have balconies, though not all of them do, so be sure to request that if it is important to you. The views for these standard layout rooms include a standard view, a water view, and garden view. Outside of the standard layout rooms, there are also some suite options available that include a variety of choices all the way from garden room cottages, which are ideal for honeymooners and feature a living room space and king bed, as well as two bedroom suites that sleep up to nine. These rooms have club level options, which give you a personalized front desk and guest services, complimentary health club access, and access to the club level lounge, which serves snacks and drinks. If you are making room requests when staying at the Boardwalk Inn, you might consider requesting to be near the elevator as the hallways are quite long at this resort. For recreation and entertainment, you will find several fun options here. There is the Luna Park Crazy Play Area, running trails that will take you along the water, Surrey bikes that you can rent and ride all around the resort loop along the water, Fantasia Garden Miniature Golf, which is located near the Swan and Dolphin, just a five to 10 minute walk away, as well as activities you'll find on the recreation schedule, which usually includes movies under the stars that happen every night and the boardwalk campfire. Along the boardwalk, you'll also find performers in the evenings, a caricature artist, hair wrappers, and carnival games. Let's talk transportation, which is a fun topic here because there are several options. To start, self-parking is available for $25 a night and valet is $33. Rideshare is also an option and pickup is at the main building. When it comes to getting to the parks, you have the huge convenience of being able to walk to both Epcot and Hollywood Studios. It's about a 10 minute walk to Epcot and 15 to 20 minutes to Hollywood Studios. You can also walk to all of the nearby resorts, giving you easy access to visit and dine at a few other hotels all by foot. You will also have a boat option that will take you to those two parks plus the nearby resorts if you'd like to do that instead of walking. Speaking of other resorts, the Skyliner Station is located right outside Epcot and can take you to even more resorts and to Hollywood Studios. It provides access to Riviera Resort, which has the popular Topolino's Restaurant, Caribbean Beach Resort, Pop Century, and Art of Animation. For the other parks, Magic Kingdom and Animal Kingdom, as well as Disney Springs, buses are the way that you'll get there on Disney transportation. These buses are sometimes shared with the other nearby Epcot area resorts. As for our thoughts, this resort has a lot of pros that include the ability to walk to two parks, boat and Skyliner access, and several high quality dining and entertainment options. On the con side, a lot of the resort shopping and dining are outside. So if it's raining or super hot, you'll have to walk out there in the elements for almost everything. The buses are also sometimes shared, which can make it take a while coming and going. The long hallways often mean long walks to the room, so be sure to request to be near an elevator to help alleviate some of that. The resort is also in the middle of a much needed upgrade that will mean dealing with construction and some outdated spaces until it is complete. Overall, it's a resort with charm and amenities that will be even better when it's done in the coming years. In the meantime, you may find nearby resorts a better option with comparable perks and at a similar price point.